fractions in a set. All right, let's start by taking a look at some vocabulary so we understand the words that we're going to be using. The first word is fraction. And a fraction names the part of a whole or part of a group. The next word we need to look at is the word numerator. The numerator is the top part of the fraction. And it tells us how many equal parts we're going to be looking at. So if you're in a classroom and you were wanted to look at just the girls in that classroom, that would be the numerator. Then finally we have the denominator. The denominator is the bottom part of the fraction. And the denominator tells us how many equal parts there are in all. So again, going back to our classroom example, if we were looking at just the girls in the classroom, like I said, that would be the numerator. And how many kids are in that class all together? That would be the denominator. Uh, as you can see, the numerator is the top part. Again, it tells you just the parts you're looking at. And the denominator is the bottom part of the fraction, and it tells you how many pieces you have all together. So in this particular fraction, one half, we have one piece that we're looking at, and we have two pieces all together. All right, so we're looking at fractions in a set, how, uh, taking a group, and the question is, what fraction of the apples are red? So the first thing that we want to do is we want to count the total number of pieces in the set. So in this particular one, we have one, two, three, four, five apples, and that's called the denominator. That's the number that goes on the bottom. Then the next thing we're going to do is, we're, because the question says what fraction of the apples are red, we're going to count just the red apples. And this time we have one, two, three. We have three red apples, and that number is called the numerator. It goes on the top of the fraction, so we would write it like this. We write the numerator on top of the fraction. We had three red apples, so we're going to write three. And we write the denominator on the bottom of the fraction. We had five apples all together, so three-fifths of the apples are red. All right, the next question we have here is, what fraction of the cars are blue? So the first thing we want to do is we want to count the total number of cars in the set. If we count here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine cars all together. Again, this is called the denominator. It goes on the bottom of the fraction. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to count the blue cars. We got one, there it is, one, two, three blue cars. That number is called the numerator. So we write write the numerator on top of the fraction. We had three blue cars. We write the denominator on the bottom of the fraction. We had nine cars all together. So to answer the question, what fraction of the cars are blue? Three-ninths of the cars are blue. All right, a little bit of review here. What word is used to tell the number of parts in a whole or parts in a group? I'll give you a second to figure that out. If you said fraction, you are correct. Fraction is the number of parts in a, in a whole or a number of parts in a group. Question number two. What word do we use to tell what part of the whole or what part of the group is being looked at? I'll give you a second to write that one down. If you said numerator, you got the right answer. Question number three. What word is used to tell how many pieces are in the group all together? So how many pieces do we have all together? That word would be the denominator. Okay, question four. What fraction of the circles are orange? Remember the steps that we walked through? Count the number of pieces that you have all together first. Then count just the, uh, in this particular case, just count the orange circles. Write down your fraction. And you should have written down four eighths. We have eight circles. Four of them are orange, so four eighths is the answer. Question five. What fraction of the triangles are red? Again, follow your steps. Count how many triangles you have first. Figure that out. That's your denominator. 
then count just the red triangles. That would be your numerator. That's the number that goes on top. And if you did that correctly, you should come up with the fraction 1 fourth. Nice job. All right, some thanks. The, uh, the graphics that we used here, the apples, the cars, all of those, those came from mycutegraphics.com. And the font that I used was provided by Love and Lit. You can visit them at teacherspayteachers.com slash store slash love and lit. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment or you can click the like button. That would be helpful as well. And as always, this has been a Mr. Te uh, Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade production.